Sailing with Lucy. If you're new here, you may not know that six months ago we put our world cruiser Kikamalu on the market to buy a bigger boat. And we haven't posted any videos for a while. Our YouTube family must be wondering where we've been. We've been in beautiful Sydney. I know what you're thinking. Have they become landlubbers? Well, stay until the end and find out. For now, sit back and relax while we catch you up on what the heck we've been up to. Hi everyone, a little update from us. It was about time we thought. So, uh, what are we up to? We've had the boat on the market for just over four weeks and no bites as yet. So what have we been doing, Jimmy? Basically, the rhythm of life is every day I'm um, going into the nursing home where my mum is and uh, walking her and exercising her, basically doing the rehab work. Apart from that, we've had a uh, frenzy of activity related to Adriana's writing. Well, she's basically got a, a seven-book series that she's writing, uh, four books of which are complete. We've got three more books to finish and we had some interest from the US related to converting the seven book series into a HBO or Netflix series or something like that. So to respond to that interest we've had to do a lot of work. We've had to write what's called a series bible which is a very detailed summary of the works in, from the point of view of how they would be applied to film or, or TV. We've created a new website for her and uh, finished that off. And she's also narrated the first chapter of her seventh book. From the sword of Anwan was cast a stone. And we've recorded that and applied a soundtrack to it with music and what have you. So there's been some sound engineering work going on with that. And so that's kept us pretty busy. Yeah, and we'll let you know how things pan out with this uh, interest that we've had. Exciting. I don't even like to. If that were not enough, we've been catching up with friends we haven't seen for a while. I won't even lie, baby. I'm not I can't even blame you. And doing some cultural things. That you could be a real catch, what the heck? Maybe I'm just a fool for love. And you think you're too cool for love. Could it be we're all doomed in love? Maybe I'm just a fool for love. I'm just a fool. We've been walking a lot and trying to keep fit. Balmoral Beach is just beautiful in the mornings. I could tell for miles, baby. We've been making mistakes. God is such a wildfire. Why you playing safe? We could be a real catch, but the heck, maybe I'm just a fool for love. And you think you're too cool for love. Could it be we're all doomed to love? Could there be anything more quintessentially Australian than nippers? on top of the world. <laughs> come down to do some work on the spreaders they got a bit mildewy that particular one not working uh, can't get it open it, tap it with a hammer or something done mm -hmm. we've had a particularly wet winter this year Australia's southeast is facing more torrential rain and flooding, with Sydney on track to break its all time rain record this weekend. You know, the boat was our home, 
and in the wet windy weather it was really cozy. I miss that. But the truth is, all you need is a hot bowl of vegetable soup, some home baked bread, a lit candle and someone to share them with. Spring arrived with sunny days and cool nights and with it came work on the garden. Jim's mum had been incapacitated for a while and the garden had suffered. So to get it back into shape required a lot of digging, weeding, planting, digging again and planting again. As well as removing some dead stumps that proved to be very tenacious. Jim started trying to dig it out thinking it was only something just... Small shrub. And it's a humongous it's thing. Black death. Oh my god, look yeah look at it. It's like it's petrified. It's all black. Terrible. And then one night we found ourselves in an emergency situation. No life rafts required, but almost. What happened last night, Jimmy? One of the flexible hoses that connect the taps and the vanity in the front bathroom burst in the middle of the night and it totally flooded that part of the house. And uh, luckily we were actually here. They're supposed to have stop cocks on them yeah. by law, but neither of these bathrooms do. I'm putting ceramic stop cocks on so it's easy to turn. So these flexible hoses actually seal with a rubber washer, yeah. but it doesn't hurt to put some thread tape on as well. So this is a ceramic valve, so it's only a quarter turn from on and off. Mm -hmm. So it should be easy for anyone to reach their hand under and turn it off if they have to. Anyway, once this start is done, it should be good for another you know, 15 years. <laughs> So these flexible hoses have got a direction of flow. Can you see the arrow? Yep. So this one has to be at the outlet of the wall. And this is where the um, emergency failure stop system is. If the hose breaks and you get more than nine litres a minute of flow, it's supposed to shut it off in here as well. But I'm not going to rely on that because, you know, these things get a bit of contamination in them and who knows. It'll work. I'm going to just put a uh, vice grip on that to stop the hose from twisting as I tighten the nut. Twist these, the plastic inside gets kinked and that's what takes the pressure and if you kink them then automatically you've got a problem. So does this mean that there's always work to do even when you're off a boat? <laughs> it was all kind of not scheduled in the in the um, project list of works. <laughs> so. Summer, autumn, we have the cockatoos, and in winter, spring, we have the stink bugs. Stink bugs like fruit trees, and they destroy the fruit, but you can't just squish them because they really stink. So what can you do? The only way to get rid of them is to suck them up. I love to see those stink bugs. That is a lot of stink bugs. Lucy isn't so sure about this land life, I think. Getting Jason from the airport. Jason and Cooper have been living in London for the last four years. We're very happy, Mummy. Last year was one of service and connection. It's been important to do everything possible to help our mothers at this time of their lives. That's meant putting our lives on hold, and it hasn't been so easy. I'm sure many of you out there understand what it's like, but this is just another stage in life and you have to embrace it. <laughs> Mum's enjoying a day out. Yes, I am. Yes. Got you doing your Spanish. You get us. I love coming home. Yes. All to ourselves? Yes. It's always hard to say goodbye, but when we do see each other, we have such a great time together, it makes up for it.
So today's the day we're moving my mum to a service department. It's very exciting for her. It's been a long process for us getting it organised, but we think it's going to be a really good thing for her. Got it all? My goodness, look at this. This winter in London, temperatures dropped to minus six and Amelia, our daughter, couldn't wait to get home to the hot Aussie summer sun. Places. You fill up the empty spaces, no one else could ever be. All the things you are to me, cause you... Everyone came to Yaya's house for Christmas and it was very special because Millie was there. Merry Christmas. Hi, Mariana. You are my family. Home is whenever I'm with Everyone's you. a winner. <laughs> you know that I'm scared. Kari, to Millie's partner, arrives soon that after. You could pick any seat. If it's to you, that's fine with me. Cause you, you are my family. Wherever you go, I'll be right Of course, no visit to Sydney would be complete without a lunch at Bondi Beach. petrol station I took dad's car to drive mom to have lunch <laughs> I put unleaded in the car instead of diesel no god please no so here we are I called NRMA and there we're now waiting for NRMA to come out and drain the tank flush it out do quality checks and then we'll be back on our way lesson lads always check before you fill up a tank. Learn yeah. from me. All I can say is there's a company that does this for a living, so it must happen all the time. It's just one of those things. Should I text you on your birthday or let it pass? Then it was that time again. It's always heartbreaking. Call it courtesy, loyalty, we were friends at one time, even lovers, so I wonder, should I lay down my... It's a long way from Sydney to London, and we feel very lucky that our children want to visit us as often as they do. Ahoy there from Australia. We decided we'd better file a report from the missing puppies unit. Thank you for your patience. Thank you. I've been, a yeah. lot of people have uh, contacted us wanting to know what we're up to. Have we sold the boat? Are we land lovers? No, we haven't sold the boat. Are we land lovers? No. We're going to take over the sale of the boat ourselves yeah. in the next few weeks. So if you're in the market for a solid cruiser, let us know. Or if you know anyone who might be. The yeah. link will be below. We'll see how it goes. And if we don't sell the boat, we won't be devastated. We do ultimately want to get a bigger boat for various reasons. But if we haven't sold the boat by later this year, yeah. and we'll be able to enjoy it and, and take a trip up north, do a decent trip up yes. to the uh, Whit Sundays or something. Yes. 
through our winter. We'll definitely put an update out again once we're on the boat. And if we do sell her, then of course, we're going to yeah. take you along to all the boats we look at. Thanks for sticking with us. We really appreciate it. It's been a busy year, a full year, and we hope that this year now will be a more adventurous one. Yeah, a bit of adventure. We'd love to have you come along with us on our journey. Now we can't promise you what the journey will be. That's up to destiny. All we can say is that whatever it is, we'll do it together. for watching thanks for sticking with us we haven't forgotten you you are our youtube family and the times we are together makes up for the times we are apart so stay well stay safe and keep that tail wagging come on lucy lucy